Welcome to episode 97 of Inside 300. I'm your host, Brian Perry. We start off with a little cosmic rewind news. That's because Chris Pratt is annoying some of you thanks to his performance in the pre-show. We'll show it to you as we get the show started. Disney Parks in just 300 seconds, starting right now. Hundreds and maybe thousands of lucky Disney guests have already gotten to ride the highly anticipated Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind coaster at Epcot. The official opening date isn't for another few weeks, but footage inside the ride has been circling the internet for a couple of days now. During one pre-show segment, Chris Pratt's Star-Lord can be seen talking about how he's excited to be back at Epcot and ride all of the old rides. Take a look. I went there as a kid, and I, 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 man, I cannot wait to get to go back and ride Horizons. Also want to see the energy, dinosaurs, and of course, hear the veggie veggie fruit fruit. Uh, it's the best. Can't <laughs> okay, well, I'm sure it will be wonderful for you to relive all of those memories again. Now, when I first saw the footage, I thought it was pretty funny, honestly, but fans on Twitter were quick to point out how they believe Pratt basically mailed it in and didn't put much effort into his performance. In fact, if you watch him closely, it does kind of look like he's reading his lines off screen as if it were an SNL sketch. Either way, I appreciate the writing team who incorporated parts of old Epcot in the new attraction. Over the last two weeks, Magic Final Four is slowly deciding what the greatest Disney parade slash show of all time is thanks to your votes. We first narrowed it down from 64 to 32, and now we're going to the Sweet 16. It's time to find out who's moving on and who's going home. And away we go! First off, Dream Along with Mickey takes care of Mickey's Royal Friendship Fair as the Old Castle Show gets revenge on its replacement. Moving on, the dazzling lights of the Electrical Parade crush Nemo and his musical over at Animal Kingdom. Happy Halloween, we're less than 100 days from the spooky holiday, and to celebrate, it's Boo to You, advancing over Mickey and the Magical Map by a final score of 66-34. The battle at the Hyperion ends with Aladdin topping Frozen to move on to the Sweet 16. The Hocus Pocus villain Spelltacular beats the short-lived Villains Unite the Night by a score of 75-25. Celebrate the Magic moves on in a surprising defeat of the beloved Hoopty Doo Review from Fort Wilderness Campground. Festival of the Lion King roars past the Dapper Dance as the one seed powers through to round three. In the biggest defeat of the week, it's Fantasmic down at Hollywood Studios with a 91-9 win over the Share a Dream Come True Parade, aka the Snow Globe Parade from the Magic Kingdom. Beauty and the Beast live on stage proves to be too much for the drums and the beat of Disneyland Sensational. In a shocking upset, Jedi Training takes out its Star Wars counterpart, Hyperspace Hoopla. Are you kidding me? Who is voting here? That thing was hilarious. In the closest game of round two, or so we thought, World of Color nearly pulls off an improbable upset but falls just short as Disneyland's Fantasmic barely pushes through. We'll get to that other close game in a second. Magic happens, a 52-48 win over Spectro. How about Festival of Fantasy, 72-28 over Street Party. Christmas, yes, Christmas, once about a Christmas time, tops Mickey's Jammin' Jungle Parade. Paint the Night, an 86-14 win over Tiana's Showboat Jubilee. And now, drum roll please, a shocking turn of events. We alluded to it earlier, the March of the First Order and the Star Wars stage show, two offerings that despise one another are locked in a dead heat, tied, entering the final day. To determine a winner, we've turned to a one-day public poll on Instagram. Head over to ITM News on Instagram to vote on the story and decide who's heading to round three in 2022's first overtime game. And here is your first look at the Sweet 16 with the Star Wars game still undecided. Voting for round three begins this Friday, but again, don't forget, head over to Instagram. To lock in your vote on the story at ITM News to determine a winner between the March of the First Order and the Star Wars stage show. And finally, it's time for today in Disney history. We go back nine years to 2013 and it's Coronation Day, but it's not. For Queen Elsa, no, instead it is for Merida, as she's officially named the 11th Disney 
princess. She's welcomed by the ten princesses that stood before her at the Magic Kingdom. Uh, she gets her own meet and greet area, kicking the Tangled area to the curb, and to this day remains the only official Disney princess created by Pixar. That, of course, was alluded to in 2018's Ralph Breaks the Internet. I gave my mommy a cake. She turned into a big bear. My old didn't try to dare in. If that's not a pure mess, I don't know what is. Uh, we can't understand her. She's from the other studio. That's going to do it for this episode of Inside 300. If you like what you saw, be sure to subscribe. Click that bell icon. Hello, bell. This way you're notified every time we come out with brand new content. Magic Final Four returns on Friday. Make sure to lock in your round three votes when they begin. I've been your host, Brian Perry. I'll see you next time. And as always, bye-bye. <laughs>